Welcome to another fishing tank review with me, Leon Bartrop. This week's video, we're going to look at the Coleman unleaded Sportster 2 stove. The pros, the cons, how to get the best out of it, how to fill it up, how to adjust it, the high, the low setting, how to use it as a bivy heater as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First time you've come across this channel and you like these type of videos then you may want to think about subscribing don't forget to hit that bell notification icon and you'll never miss another upload again well the coleman 533 sportster unleaded two stove something i've used for the last 10 to 15 years it really is a good bit of kit and here's why we all need a cooking sauce or a heating sauce in the winter or any time of year really we've all got a stove haven't we we have a stay for a couple of days or an overnighter, we always like to have a cup of tea or cook up something in the Ridge Monkey. There's lots of different stoves out there. One that I've used consistently, especially through the winter months, is the Coleman 533 unleaded Sportster stove. The reason that it stood the test of time with me, it's extremely economical to run, runs on unleaded petrol, so you can fill up a five litre jerry can for about five or six quid. And a full Coleman stove, you can probably get about three hours out of it on the low setting, or about one and a half to one and three quarters on a high setting. So if you're cooking up a big meal or you just want to keep warm in a bivy when it's absolutely freezing, this is ideal if you're on a budget. Now the Sportster stove, it runs on unleaded petrol or Coleman fuel. Now a little tip, a little bit of advice to give you, which I found out, and I've had a lot of messages about this over the last year or so, when I've highlighted that I use the Coleman stove, is that guys have bought this stove, used it once, gone to use it again, and it's completely not working. Now the reason for this is normal unleaded that you get when you go and fill up your car, that just doesn't cut it with a Coleman stove. You need premium unleaded or you need like supreme unleaded, the high quality unleaded fuel that you can buy. It's a couple of quid extra, but it's worth it because it'll keep your stove performing really well all year round. Now the reason for this is there's an ingredient in that supreme or premium unleaded fuel that cleans the engine. Now this will also clean and prevent the buildup of carbon which is generated when you use your stove and it'll keep it free from it. There's a couple of other things I do which I'll explain a little bit later which is a must for the maintenance of your stove to keep it working properly and firing up on all cylinders all year round. The stove is very powerful, it gives off 10,000 BTUs which it, it really is a fierce stove. You know even in the wind it, it just keeps on going. You know, if you treat it right and you do the maintenance things that I'm going to explain in a minute, it will never let you down. Another pro to it is that it's got a fully adjustable flame. So you can have it on high if you're boiling up some food like vegetables or you're cooking your dinner. You can have it on the high setting. You can adjust it down to the low setting if you just want it to tick over and generate a little bit of heat in your bivy when it's freezing cold. But bear in mind, like I say, with all the heaters or the gas stove or this Coleman stove, is to have ventilation and also invest in a carbon monoxide alarm. They range from anything from five to 11 quid and it can prevent a fatality. You know, there have been fatalities over the years where people have zipped up their bivy, but they've got their Coleman on or they've got their cooker on or they've got their heater on. It takes all the oxygen out of the bivy. You feel tired, you get a headache, you fall off to sleep and you end up dying. It's that drastic. So invest in a carbon monoxide alarm. Always have a bit of ventilation in your bivy when you're cooking or you're heating especially in the winter. The stove's also made of a very heavy duty construction. So you can bang it about, you can put it away, you can drop it, and it's not really gonna affect the stove. It's a very well made, engineered bit of kit that will last the test of time if you look after it. Coleman are so confident how they've made this Sportster stove that they give you a five year limited warranty on it, which is a really added bonus if it happens to mechanically go wrong in some way, or leaks or something like that, you can send it back to them or contact them and they'll sort it out for you. So how do you look after your stove? How do you fill it up? How do you adjust the different settings on it? Right, the thing to do is when you first get it, to fill it up with your unleaded premium fuel, don't fill it right up to the lip of where you screw on the cap. Fill it so it's below that lip. So you've got to have a little bit of air in there because the pressure in it pushes that fuel around. Fill it up with the red fuel dispenser that it comes with, screw on the cap, give it about 20 pumps to keep the pressure in, Pull the little red handle on the left all the way up to the, to it's fully open, light the cooker, and you'll get a lot of yellow flame then. Just leave it for about 20 seconds, that yellow flame will calm down, calm right down, you'll get a bit of a better bluer flame, and then pump it up 20 or 30 times so it's roaring. Leave it for about a minute, and then just adjust that flame all the way down to the minimum. 
When it's in that minimum, then you can use it as a heater or if you fried something up and you don't want the heat to be so fierce, you want it to cook really fast or you want a lot more heat, adjust it all the way up. But keep an eye on that flame. If it's blue and it's really fierce, you'll be able to hear it because it's very loud. If you haven't got enough pressure in there, just give it 10 or 20 more pumps and it'll be firing on all cylinders. When you finish with it, when you've done your cooking or you finish finished heating your bivvy in the winter, turn it off, wait until all the flame is distinguished until the cooker's burnt off all the excess fuel and then pump it another 20 or 30 times to keep that pressure in there. Now that's the trick. That's the trick to keeping the maintenance of it. The first one is buy the premium unleaded fuel. Second one is keep that pressure in it, even if you're not using it. Keep 20 or 30 pumps in there to keep it pushing through that fuel into the head. Because what happens is, if you don't do that, the generator which goes over the top of the cooker, it gets sooted up. You get a build up of carbon in there, then the fuel can't go through and it's not gonna work well. And you have to end up changing that regulator, they're about 15 to 17 quid every time. And that's not what you wanna do. Bearing in mind though, what I would say is, always keep a spare generator in your van. I always do, just in case that generator does fail, because they will fail eventually in the end. You just change it, put the new generator on, Follow the same steps, pump it up, keep that pressure in there, and that'll last you another good few years. I've had mine for about 10, 15 years now. I've actually got two. I've had to change the generator probably twice maximum. And also I advise to keep your cooker in a nice bag and to keep it outside of the bivvy. Keep your fuel outside the bivvy. And always, when you're firing up that Coleman, do it outside. So it only takes one of them big flames to come up where you've got a bit of excess fuel on top of the cooker where you've been filling it up and your bivvy's gonna be alight. You know, it's fire at the end of the day, and you wouldn't fire something up with fire in, in your house, would you? So do it, always do it outside the bivvy. You can always take it in once it's calmed down, you've got the pressure right, you've got the setting right. Right now, the cons of it. Now, whilst the fuel's cheap, you're gonna need quite a lot of it. If you've got it on all the time, and you're doing a weekend or a three or four day session, you're gonna want to invest in a five litre jerry can. Now, a little trick here, what I do is I fill the jerry can up half, half full, and then just use that when it's getting low, I'll fill it up again. Rather than fill it all the way up and have to carry that around on your barra, then I'll fill it just halfway up. And the normal, if I'm heating and doing a bit of cooking, I only need to fill it up three or four times if I've got it on constantly to keep warm over the winter. So you, you know, you're never gonna use half that can. Just fill it up as you need to. Also, something else to invest in that makes life so much easier, especially when it's windy in the winter or in the summer or the spring, if you use the Coleman at those time of the years, invest in one of these flame proof jet lighter they're about three quid on ebay again i'll put some links down in the description where you can get these so this will light your coleman without all that fuel coming out really quickly in any weathers just click it on fire it up and you're away you're cooking or you're heating your bivvy well there you go there's another review for you i would thoroughly recommend the coleman i've used one for the last 10 15 years can't fault it you know if you look after it if you purchase that unleaded premium fuel and you keep the pressure in there the Coleman Sportster unleaded two stove will last you forever don't forget guys if you like this type of videos and you want to see more of this type of videos hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that bell icon you'll never miss another video again see you for the next video